what i'm about to show you is probably one thing no one has ever told you about as touching background manipulation because from pinterest i'm about to show you one hack to start creating crazy background manipulations i need you to stick around and pay careful attention while i take you through this short journey now the first thing like i did is to open your pinterest app now stick around and pay careful attention don't skip any part and ensure you are subscribed to this channel so that you keep getting amazing videos from this channel and also turn on your notification bell so that youtube can always notify you whenever i drop amazing tutorials like this let's continue so open your pinterest app now click on this search icon look at this search icon click on this search icon click on it then we are searching for design background manipulation right design background manipulation i want to show you how to get background manipulation ideas you are not going to download someone else's um okay you are not going to download someone else's background manipulations or backgrounds no you are going to create yours from scratch so uh, manipulation manipulation all right then click search now let's wait for it now there are so many um design ideas but then let's go with this right i want to start with this because what i'm about to show you is something that you can always um once you get the idea you can always um customize it to your taste and use it based on your own preferences now for example now this is a background this is a background that has been manipulated so what you have to do now is to study the background now remember that i said you are not downloading another person's work no you are trying to get ideas from another person's work so that you can manipulate your own background so that is the the whole idea behind it so it's not like you are trying to download someone else's background and you are trying to um from the person's uh, background you are trying to begin to create um um you are using the person's background in your own work no that is not the point here the point here is that you get amazing backgrounds then you study them now when you study them it's not compulsory that you um use the same method no you can customize it like bringing in your own idea as a graphic designer you should be creative so even if you are getting ideas from another person's work you can be social or you should actually customize it now if you know one thing about pinterest that i love so much about pinterest is that if like i came here now i click on this what pinterest will begin to do now is begin to show me more similar background manipulation so if i begin to scroll down you can see so many of them look at this right these are crazy background manipulations like all you have to do look at them all you have to do is to study them right this is a background manipulation trick that i feel like many persons are not talking enough or are not talking about enough but it's very very important because that might just be the game changer for you so all you have to do is to begin to look for background um backgrounds and notice the way they are manipulated from here now you can see that okay there's an image here right there's um there are images of people raising up their hands and probably praying here then there is a lens play here that is um that will probably put here so as to brighten the middle of the design and then there is there, um, there's an image here that signifies stadium so you can see the whole idea behind this you can see this you can see this and then you can see this now you can get the idea from you can get an idea from this manipulation that you can now use in your own design for example now in your own design you can also decide to blend and there are many ways to do these things on pixel lab right let's assume that you are using pixel lab to design maybe not pc there are so many ways to do this i have a, i have another video on the channel on background manipulation you may need to check that out in the description box below or just check my channel and scroll down a bit you'll see the video you'll see the video on three ways to manipulate your background and what that video will do is that it will help you um know how to engage what i'm teaching you so you will know how to blend images to background i taught all of that in that video so you need to still check it out right but then the whole idea behind this is for you to study look at this very very amazing you can see the whole idea behind this you are not stealing another person's design don't get me wrong no you are only trying to get ideas from another person's work i know that if you are if you have been designing for some times now i believe that this is one thing that you probably have been doing with your design but i feel like so many persons are not extending it to background so i, I receive DM, dms from people every time how can i manipulate my background can you teach me background manipulations and these persons really want to learn 
these persons are really interested in learning they are very very interested in learning but then they don't know how to and the reason is because many times they don't even know how to start and probably you are also in this category and that is why like i said study amazing background see what makes them amazing what you like about them look at this now from where you can see that oh this was blood so you get the idea from where that oh using the blood background can be so so amazing and can just give me the kind of feel i want in my design you get it so that is that about that so you can look at this see the way this was manipulated so that is one thing you need to understand when it comes to background manipulation there are so many of them so so many of them on pinterest look at this look at this one so many amazing backgrounds so all you have to do is to study them then once you study them you can get ideas from there that you can always use in your own design i believe you've gotten value so far now let me know in the comment section if you learned something from this video i would love to read from you also share this video with at least one person you might just be changing somebody's design career that way so ensure that you also give this video a like so that you can recommend this video to more persons i hope to see you in the next video.